Welcome everyone to the latest edition of Kids in the Know, the only show to keep you in the know. And I'm your host, Josh. My team here at KIK will give you the inside info on the photoelectric effect. Hello everyone, I'm here with the ultimate scientific expert on the photoelectric effect, my grandpa Nesbitt. I remember how it all got started. Way back in 1887, when Henry Kurtz noticed that wires in his lab released sparks when exposed them to the ultraviolet light. But Hertz could never figure out why. It was a big mystery for a while until good old Albert figured it out. Albert Einstein, that is. They even gave him a Nobel Prize for that. Anyway, Albert said that the light that was shining on the metal wire was causing the wire to release energy. He sure was a smart fellow back in them days, even if he was a little less handsome than me. Now on to Josh reporting from the sun. Back then, some scientists said that light came in waves. Other scientists theorized that light came in small particles. Einstein suggested that light came in a packet of waves and particles together. Real funny guys, there are lots of other light waves that we can't see, like the ultraviolet light Hertz was using when he noticed the sparks. Einstein figured out how the right wavelengths of light caused the wires to spark. Now back to the studio. Time for a demonstration of the photoelectric effect. Metal naturally attracts electrons from the environment. Einstein suggested that certain wavelengths of light will knock the electrons loose, creating a release of energy, and some wave wavelengths release more energy than others. For example, red light won't release much energy at all. However, violet light can knock lots of energy loose. Einstein theorized that the higher the intensity of light, the more energy will be released. I'll be right back. Alright everyone, let's recap. Metal attracts electrons from the environment. We can force the electrons off the metal when we use the right wavelengths of light. When the electrons are released, energy is released and can be captured and used. Thanks to Einstein's discovery of the photoelectric effect, others have been able to invent things such as electron microscopes and solar panels. We'll see you right here next time on the only show that keeps you in the know.